Hey guys, what's up? Today I'll be talking about when's the best time to scale, how to scale, and problems that you might come across when it comes to scaling. Because a lot of people actually have issues, especially with the current Facebook algorithm. You gotta be careful when it comes to scaling and you gotta not panic. And today I'll be addressing basically everything. I'll be revealing you basically my whole scaling strategy. So this question comes from Dave Ying. Thanks for sharing, can I know? What does a winning product truly look like on the first three days? How many purchases on the first day, second day, third day with a $5 budget? Now, the reason I ask is because I've tested several products that look amazing on the first day, two or three sales, I get excited, duplicate the ad set on the same budget, duplicate it once more with a $10 budget with all three ad sets, they go to shit and they die. I guess I need to be more patient before I scale. This is definitely a pretty interesting question. So, with a $5 budget, if the first day you got three to four sales, that means you're getting one to $1.5 cost per click, which is insanely cheap. So I definitely think that product would have had potential because three or four sales day one just off $5, that's insanely good. So this is my scaling process. I actually wait five days in. So I wait five days, maybe even seven days because talking to people in Facebook, I've been told that it might even take seven days for ad sets to optimize. So people who have a lot of budget to spend, definitely wait seven days for it to optimize. Those who aren't on a budget, just wait three days or wait till you hit profit margin. That's the best option. So I usually wait five days. Um, if three out of five days, I got one sale, meaning there's three days, and each of those days I got a sale, meaning three out of five, and two other days I didn't get a sale, then I actually scale. So what this means is, by the end of the five days, I would have spent $25, I've gotten three sales, so that's a cost per click of $8.33. Now, uh, if you're doing the duplication method, a good trick that I'll recommend you to do is actually duplicate the ad set five times, doubling the budget, so that means you would have five times $10 ad sets. That's actually a pretty good uh, method because what you would find is actually one or two of the five would work pretty well and you just kill the other three or four. The reason why this works is when you duplicate ad sets many times, you're actually putting money into different pockets of that interest. So if you have an interest of one mil, you're putting your money across it. And then what Facebook will do is find good patches. So some ad set might have hit a good patch of audience and as a result, you'll be getting sales and the other four or three ad sets will be hitting pockets of the audience that's getting no sales. Hence, when people just duplicate once, the one duplicated ad set will be just testing one group of people within the audience. And the chances that the one group of audience doesn't get your sales is super high. Hence, you want to duplicate five times because that would allow you to test five different spots, giving you a higher chance to find a pocket within the audience that gets you a lot of sales. This is just the stuff that people don't understand when it comes to Facebook, the theory and the intuition behind things. Hence, I just want to give you guys and pass on this knowledge and hope some of you guys can pick it up and then teach other people. Three, so once you get consistent sales, so over five days, three days you've gotten sales, that's quite consistent for me. You start to want to slowly increase the original ad set. Go from $5 to $10, 10 to 20 and then eventually you're going to hit up to $200. That's the goal. Now, each time you increase that, you want to wait three or four days and look at the results. The reason for that is one, it needs to optimize. Two, if you increase it and it got good results straight away, who knows if you're going to consistently get more sales. If you just get a lot of sales the first day after you increase the budget, what if two, day two and day three just crashes. And if you were to increase the budget right after day one because you found good results, you would have increased the budget just to see it crash, spending a much larger sum of money. Hence, you want to wait for two to three days and look at the results. Now, if it doesn't work well, say at $200, you want to bring it back to 150. So bring it back one step. Now, a thing that a lot of people don't know is that automatic bidding has a sweet spot. It's similar to manual bidding, but Automatic has a daily budget where it performs the best ad. The reason for this, I think it's similar to AdWords, how there's a limited amount of people who are looking to purchase the item. So once you start spending too much money, the excess money would be then go to waste. 
Hence, there's always a sweet spot on the best daily budget. That's my hypothesis on why I think um, a sweet spot exists when it comes to automatic bidding. This is something that a lot of people don't know about and this is something that I've confirmed with many people who are killing it within the dropshipping game. Now, six, golden tip number two. Don't scale on Mondays and Tuesdays. These are the worst days to scale and you're not gonna get good results the next day. Don't just take my word for it, test it. I've tested it, it's true. I was skeptical at first because I heard this from some other guru and it actually became true. So I've actually tested it and I know, and I can confirm, Monday and Tuesdays scaling are really bad for me. Seven, also when you scale, if the next day is really, really bad, don't panic. It's important for you to stay calm because it just might be a bad day because you might have just scaled on Wednesday or scaled on a bad day. Even if it, you scaled on a Saturday or a Friday, it just might have been a bad day or might have been an algorithm change. So don't panic. If you have two to three days worth of bad results, then definitely lower the budget. But don't panic and immediately drop the budget because that will stuff things up for sure. You definitely always want to wait a few days before you edit the budget. That's what has helped me find the best results and that's what has helped a lot of my students find best results. So definitely wait and be patient. So yeah, definitely that's my whole scaling process. So hopefully you guys found that useful. Um, hopefully that answered your question, Dave. But if anyone has any other questions, drop it in the comment below. Don't forget to join my Facebook group, e-commerce legacy. It's super active. You get more attention with me. I answer your questions. You could hit me up and say hello. You could tell me what you think about my latest video. So definitely do that. Last but not least, don't forget to like the video as well as don't forget to subscribe because I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. Peace.